My strawberry pineapple dump cake recipe is easy and delicious. With just four base ingredients and a few minutes, you can make an amazing homemade cobbler that's perfect for beginner cooks who need to feed a crowd. Let's go over the ingredients. For a nine by 13 dump cake, you will need one 21 ounce can of strawberry pie filling, one 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple, undrained, one 15.25 ounce box of white cake mix. You could use yellow. I think you could also use lemon or strawberry and two sticks of unsalted butter. Like I said, you can make this dump cake with just these four base ingredients, but I also recommend adding two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I'll explain why in a little bit. I use some of the butter from one of the sticks to grease the baking dish, so we can get started on the recipe. But before we do, I'm gonna take this butter and put it off to the side because you wanna keep your butter in the refrigerator so it stays cold. I will show you why later. But hence the name of this recipe. The first step is literally just dumping the contents of the two cans into the nine by 13 baking dish. So I'm actually gonna start off with the pineapple. Honestly, I don't think it really matters. I just think it might look a little bit better with the red more on top so just take your pineapple and spread it out the spatula or large spoon if you have pineapple tidbits or rings i think you could use those as well the rings i would definitely cut them up into smaller pieces just so that you have a little bit of pineapple in every bite but other than that no reason why you cannot use another type of canned pineapple if that's what you have on hand. And just spread it out, but it doesn't have to be perfect because this is an easy cobbler recipe. And actually this might be easier with a spoon than a spatula. Now that the crushed pineapple is in the pan, I'm gonna go on to the strawberry pie filling. And as I pour it in, I'm moving the can over the dish to try to distribute it as evenly as possible. I'm just using one can of pie filling. Most of the recipes on the internet call for just one, but I did think about using two. So if you make this recipe and you use two cans, and you use two cans of pie filling, let me know how it turns out. But just like with the pineapple, I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. Once again, it does not have to be perfect. There, I spread out the strawberries. You could mix the pineapple and strawberries together if you wanted to. I did a little bit over here, but I'm just gonna leave the strawberry pie filling on top of the crushed pineapple. Now for the lemon juice. I'm just gonna take two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm gonna sprinkle it on top. I am adding this lemon juice because lemon really brings out fruit flavors. I almost always add lemon juice to my strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, whatever type of berry recipe I'm making. And when I made my pineapple pie and pineapple cobbler recipes. I added lemon and I thought that the lemon really brought out the pineapple flavor. So really whenever I'm making any sort of fruit recipe, I almost always add some sort of lemon. Now that the strawberry pie filling and crushed pineapple are in the baking dish and the lemon juice, which is optional, it's time to add the cake mix. So like I said, one 15.25 ounce box of white cake mix, and I'm literally just going to dump it into the pan. I'm just gonna shake it back and forth as I move it over the top like this. And like I said earlier, you could use a different type if you want to. I recommend 
white or yellow because those are fairly neutral flavors and they won't compete with the filling of this dump cake cobbler. But I think lemon cake mix would be good, strawberry cake mix would be good. I think a spice cake mix might be interesting as well, maybe even chocolate. So if you make this recipe and you use a different type of cake mix, please let me know. I am very curious what you think. Now that the cake mix is in the baking dish, I'm just gonna take a fork and even it out. Now I am not pushing down, I'm not trying to pack it down. I know that kind of seems like something logical you'd want to do to pack it down, but that's not the goal here. Just take your fork and drag it over the top like this. Smooth it out as best you can. If there are any clumps, just use your fork to break them up. Nice and easy. Now that the cake mix is smoothed out on top of the filling, I'm gonna put the dish off to the side a little bit. I am preheating my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and now it's time to put on the butter. So this is probably the most time consuming and tedious part of this strawberry pineapple dump cake recipe, but it's probably the most important. So here I have my stick of butter. It's cold. I have a sharp knife. What I'm literally going to do is I'm just going to cut the butter into thin pieces. I would say that per tablespoon, aim for four to six thin slices. Thin as you can get them. Four is probably more realistic. Four per tablespoon. They don't all have to be exactly the same size. Some can be a bit bigger than others. The goal is to just cut the butter into small pieces that are of roughly equal size so that you can then put the butter on top of the dump cake like this. I'm just taking my slices of butter. I'm just going to lay them across the top. And I'm laying them across the top so that as the cobbler bakes, the butter will melt down and into the cake mix. And it's going to turn the cake mix into a crumble, a crispy, crunchy, buttery crumble that is going to be amazing. So it's not going to be like a normal cobbler crust with pie crust or maybe some sort of cake topping. It's going to be sweet crumble. I always just cut thin pieces of butter and lay them across the top. But if you want to try doing this a different way, some people do melt the butter and then just pour it on top. But I honestly don't think that's a good idea because if you accidentally pour all the butter over here, and none over there, then it's hard to correct your mistake. And you want the butter to be distributed evenly because any part of the cake mix that's not covered in butter or any places where the melted butter doesn't reach is going to end up dry. You do not want that. So I always do it this way. I have heard of people freezing the butter and then grating it on a cheese grater and then sprinkling it, sprinkling it on top. I will have to try that next time. But yeah, this is the way I've always done it. Most people cut it into very small pieces and then lay the butter across the top. What's good about this is that if you realize 
that maybe they're not exactly where you want them to be. You can take your knife and pick them up and, and move them over here if you want. So like I said, this is a very forgiving recipe. It's perfect for beginner cooks. I just finished laying the butter on top of the dump cake. As you can see, there were some spots where, especially when I was talking and laying on the butter, the pads were a little bit farther apart from each other than I would have liked. So I just went back and cut very small pieces of butter, shreds of butter, and just filled in the gaps. Like I said, this recipe is really forgiving. So if you need to use your knife to pick up a pad of butter or two or fill in on the sides or in between, that's not a problem. I ended up using all but two tablespoons of butter. I think you need at least one and a half sticks to really get a good amount of butter on there. Now I'm going to put the dump cake into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit uncovered. I just took my strawberry pineapple dump cake out of the oven. It was in at 350 degrees Fahrenheit uncovered for an hour and five minutes. Honestly, it was done at the one hour mark, but I left it in for another five minutes just to get it a little bit darker. It looks and smells amazing. With the light red filling and the golden brown crust, this dump cake looked great. It made my kitchen smell like butter and pineapple, so I was definitely curious how it would taste. I let it cool down for about an hour and then I dug in. And when I took my first bite, I knew that my strawberry pineapple dump cake recipe was a big success because it was absolutely delicious. If you watch my channel, you know that I've done a lot of dump cake recipes, plain strawberry, blueberry, pumpkin, a lot. And honestly, I think that this strawberry pineapple one was the best. I really like pineapple, so maybe I'm just biased, but I felt like the strawberry and pineapple flavors complemented each other perfectly. And with a little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice to really bring out the fruit flavors, this was absolutely delicious. In fact, when I shared this with a group of people, one person commented that in spite of not having any fresh or frozen fruit in the filling, everything came from a can, she thought it was very fresh tasting. She actually sounded kind of surprised that I didn't use any fresh fruit in it. I really like the combination of textures as well. Now that I'm holding the first slice up close to the camera, you can see the perfectly golden brown crumble topping as well as the gooey, juicy fruit filling underneath. And those two textures complemented each other absolutely perfectly. And although this dump cake did have almost two sticks of butter and the butter flavor was definitely strong in the crunchy crumble topping, I didn't feel like the butter flavor overpowered it as much as in other dump cakes. I think that was probably because of the tartness in the pineapple. I could taste the strawberry and pineapple flavors pretty much equally 50-50, so I felt like the two flavors were perfectly balanced. When I was researching this recipe, most other versions had one can of strawberry pie filling and one of crushed pineapple, but I think maybe one had two cans of strawberry pie filling. But now that I've made this, I think one of each is probably the way to go. But as I said earlier in the video, if you really love strawberry, I'm sure you could use two cans. In addition to the delicious flavor and amazing textures, what I really liked about this strawberry pineapple dump cake recipe was that it was so easy. Because as in my other dump cake recipes, all you literally have to do is open a couple cans, dump them into a 9 by 13 baking dish, pour over some cake mix, add butter, and then bake. For something so quick and easy, this is absolutely fantastic. And although it's great on its own, a little bit of whipped cream was good, and I'm sure ice cream would be good as well. The one thing that I did want to mention is draining the can of crushed pineapple. I did not drain the pineapple, and even though there was plenty of crust, there was not as much crumble topping as in my other dump cake recipes. I think you could go either way with this dump cake, but I think that if you really want a lot of crunchy crumble topping, then definitely drain the 
pineapple, but if you just want something easy and you don't feel like draining the pineapple, definitely just do what I did and pour it in. Other than that, I don't think there's much else to say about this recipe. Like I said, the strawberry pineapple dump cake was super easy and it was very good. In all honesty, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, this was probably the best dump cake I've made so far. I think the bright flavors and colors would make this the perfect dessert for Easter, Mother's Day, Memorial Day, 4th of July, or pretty much any day. So if you're looking for a new dessert this summer, definitely give this one a try. I know you'll love it. As always, thanks for watching.